Philosophers have pondered the nature of life for centuries. Some see life as the essence of existence, encompassing experiences, consciousness, and the capacity for growth and change. Others view life as a journey of self-discovery, exploration, and fulfillment of purpose. Hello, I am Chezom, and you are watching Explored World with Chezom channel. What comes to mind when you think about Munich? Rich history, unique architecture, Oktoberfest, BMW, football stadium, or enjoying a beer in a beer garden. Let's find out what things you can do and see in Munich, the third largest city in Germany. Let's start with the heart of the city called Marienplatz, which is over 900 years old. In olden times, during the first few centuries, this place used to be the marketplace for the people. Today, it is used for festivities, cultural events, and sporting celebrations. This new city hall is one of the most amazing buildings in Munich, as more than 600 employees work inside its 400 rooms. If you want to see around the old city, you need to walk through this beautiful, welcoming entrance gate called Karlstor. This area is known as Karlsplatz and also called Statues. During summer, you will see a picturesque water fountain in this area and can see children enjoying themselves. But during winter, this place becomes a big ice skating rink. You can clearly see how people are enjoying and are pretty busy, as cities have lots of things to entertain people. If you're tired from exploring and need a break with your tummy rumbling for food, then Viktualienmarkt is the spot for you. They've got lots of Bayern traditional food to try. Just remember, it's closed on Sundays all city in Germany. In München, city is very famous for the beer and their traditional. This is a beer garden. Everyone is sitting here, coming with their family, just having beer, and they're meeting with friends. Yeah. But the sad thing is I don't drink beer, that's why I'm not getting inside. If you're a beer lover and enjoy meeting new international friends, it's a great opportunity to grab a seat and make the most of it. When people are enjoying the most authentic Bayern food and drinks from this area, it would be unfair if I didn't give myself a chance to try anything and enjoy. So, I thought of treating myself to ice cream on this sunny day. Ice cream is really delicious, but you're not a little bit expensive than other side. I don't know why here, it's so expensive. On the way to the beer garden, you will find a beautiful church called St. Peter's Church located in the old city. It's 91 meter, 299 feet tower, commonly known as Alter Peter or Old Peter, is emblematic of Munich. St. Peter's is the oldest recorded parish church in Munich and is presumed to be the originating point for the whole city. If I get into more detail about this church, before Munich was founded in 1158, there existed a pre-Merovingian church on the site of St. Peter's Church. Monks lived around this church on a hill called Petersburgel in the 8th century. In the late 12th century, a new church in the Bavarian Romanesque style was consecrated. This church was expanded in Gothic style shortly before a great fire in 1327 destroyed it. During World War II, the church suffered heavy damage due to Allied bombing. The interior of the church is notable for its high altar, featuring a figure of St. Peter contributed by Erasmus Grasser. It also houses five Gothic paintings by Jan Polak and several altars by Ignaz Gunther. The ceiling fresco, painted by Johann Baptist Zimmermann between 1753 and 1756, was restored in 1999 to till 2000. As we all know, Munich has no shortage of historic buildings, places and churches. One of the most prominent landmarks is the tall building in front of us called Frauenkirche. This high tower is almost 100 meters tall. As a fun fact, within the old city, no building is allowed to be taller than this one. If you are a nature lover and want to experience some fresh air, Munich has a wonderful English garden, 
covering an area of about 370 hectares, making it one of the largest inner city parks in the world. It's even larger than Central Park in New York. Within the park, you will find many interesting activities and people are simply enjoying the moment. In if you got involved, if you are surfing lower, like people, you can do a surfing, but I don't know how to do a surfing, so I can just watch when other people are enjoying. As I have already mentioned, this city is rich in history and culture. City have many unbelievable museums to visit. One important thing to note is that usually on Sundays, you can visit most museums for a much lower entry fee than on regular days. Who does not love lower price, right? I'm standing right in front of the Art in the Forty Museum. If I translate in English, Art means like old in the Forty Museum. I am here not only to show you the beauty inside the cities, but also to guide you through the breathtaking landscapes of Bayern. Renowned for its picturesque scenery, the Bayern region hosts many fairy tale like places to visit. Among them, my first choice is the fascinating and historically rich town of Fusen. This city stands out as one of the most tourist attracting places in southern Germany. Neuschwanstein Castle, Hohenschwangau Castle and the countless beautiful lakes contribute to its charm. When it comes to transportation, you can reach Fussen by train from Munich in around one and a half to two hours. Imagine a place where clear water reflects snowy mountains, where peace fills the air and where nature's beauty captivates you. That's Ibsee, a hidden treasure in Bayern. Its stunning views, clean shores and abundance of activities make it a must-visit destination. Whether you want to relax and swim in fresh mountain water, hike to the top of Zugspitze for a panoramic view of all Bayern, or find inner peace with yoga or meditation by the lake, Ibsee offers something for everyone. If you think Fussen and Ibsee are too far from Munich to visit, but you still want to experience a refreshing dip in the pure alpine mountain water, I suggest visiting Lake Starnberg. It's only about 25 kilometers, 16 miles, away from the city. This destination offers numerous activities to try and boast some of the most beautiful views, perfect for content creators like myself. Thank you for watching my video and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button on my channel. This way, whenever I upload a new video, you'll receive a notification.